Hi, I'm Josiah Allen, Certified Ergonomist with Human Tech, and today I'm joined by Peter from Rotocaster and Steve from Monroe Magnus, and we're going to discuss the Rotocaster. So the Rotocaster is, as you can see, wheels, but instead of when you implement them on a cart or some other device having to rely on a swivel wheel for different directions, these stay in line but still offer that lateral and omnidirectional movement. Would you mind telling us a little bit more? Yeah, sure. I think. Uh... The Rotocaster itself, I think the key difference is rather than use a swivel, it uses rollers on the outer rim. So it introduces the simplicity of a fixed wheel because it maintains a fixed orientation with the multi-directional capability of a swivel caster. Okay, great. Can you give us a couple examples of where this has been used and where it continues to be used? Yeah. the um, Where we first introduced the wheels, we, we needed an application to put them on, so we developed what we call the rotor truck, which is a self-supporting hand truck, which reduces the amount of effort and, and uh, in just about all the actions you do with a, a hand truck. Um, and that's led on to, to further development of special application hand trucks, which is both a combination of productivity and safety. Great. And um, I know we spoke earlier and you mentioned that uh, the roto truck helps keep the load more above the wheels and also helps you get uh, under products a lot easier when you're using it. Yeah, the, the, the key advantage, um, well there's probably three. One, it, it reduces the pullback effort by about half. Once the load's pulled back, it actually fully supports the load so the operator doesn't have to carry the load, which he's quite used to doing. And then in addition, to negotiate obstructions such as curbs or, or depalletizing goods, you can actually step up onto the platform and then lever the load up rather than haul it up backwards. So that, that saves both some time but a lot, a lot of effort. Yeah, 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 very good. So that's a road of truck. Uh, Steve, would you mind telling us a little bit about the use in conveyors? Sure. Uh, what we've uh, found it replaces the uh, the um, uh, ball transfer, so it's it, it, you're able to control. The, the movement of wh whatever it is you're moving, is a box or something. What I like to say, it'll go north and south, east and west very easily, whereas the ball transfer is kind of all over. Also, you're not dragging it across a standard uh, conveyor roller. This is so much easier. Very good. So, if uh, people are looking to get their hands on one of these, how do they go about that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, Munro Magnus in the U.S. is our, our master distributor, so they're located throughout the country. Yeah, we're all over the place now. Yeah. Yes. So. Okay. Good stuff. Any last comments, anything else that you want uh, people to know about? Um, I, I think in closing, it's probably simply that that uh, a rotocaster, it's, it's got that ability to, to bring together your 360 degree mobility that gives back control, directional control to the users. Right, so you're not having to, you know, work that hard to move yeah. in a different direction. Exactly. You can slide in, move it around, slide out. You, you can transfer your momentum in a direction just by turning the platform. If it's a four um, swivel card, you actually have to arrest the momentum and recreate it in the new direction. So we find in that environment, you maintain full 360 degree capability, but directional control. Great. Awesome. Well, Peter, Steve, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks, uh, again, we've been looking at the Rotocaster, and I'm Josiah Allen. I'll see you next time.